Hello everybody and welcome back to the Frisian Experience. So this morning we've got Anya who is going round on the walker and then we have little Nika here who's just having a hand graze or a pick of grass this morning. It's actually quite mean of me to be honest making Annie carry out her least favourite activity which is that of the physical kind and then right in front of her I'm just Nika's just snacking. It's very mean and inconsiderate but you know that's life. So yeah, Nika at the moment, she is on um, not full box rest because she can still come out in this turnout here. Um, but she's got a little bit of heat in one of her front tendons. So yeah, she's not out in the field at the moment. She's just resting it. She's not working either. Um, so she's not getting the grass. So this morning she's just having a little hand graze. Isn't that right, noodles? Yes. So this is the most, well, one of the most important parts of our day. It occurs first thing in the morning and in the middle of the day. But always after the horses are fed. The Obviously, get first yeah. We get our coffee. Yeah, we're not narcissists or psychopaths. <laughs> oh, well, apart from you, can we see the front of your mug, please? Yeah, but I've only got this mug because your mum bought it for me. Yeah? No, she uses it every day. Like, you refuse to... I know. Well, it's because your mum bought it for me for Christmas really i thought it was just because like the flex that the horses love you the most like no, look at me they don't they love you and jody the most really no i think they love you the most because <laughs> because we because we're with them more we have to be the bad guys whereas you get to come out and be the good guy oh okay yeah okay is that is that how it works i think so okay yeah am, am i not a bit mean to them sometimes when i'm asking them to do things that they might not want to do I mean, yeah, no, possibly. we'll go with that they love me the most. Okay, that cool. That makes me happy. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and here's mine. I do have a Frisian Experience mug. However, it is the old style version. Yes, yeah, so it's more unique. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a collector's piece. It is. You know, yeah, maybe I should put out a new mug design each year so that it becomes like limited and well, discontinued. Actually, I was thinking of that because I've only got a few the other mugs left so i was thinking Whoa. of doing a new design yeah yeah so let That's us know i'll be out here every day oh, i'll do it if people let me know in the comments what mug they want and then you have to promise to buy it obviously <laughs> you know it's it's how that works but yeah this was probably from like 2018 maybe not before yeah, yeah. they last really well they, are good they do life. see there we go it's mm. a good advert as well yeah yeah. Next up, we have the mucking out. So we only have two in last night. It was Nika and Anya. So just these two boxes to do. And then we've got all the empty feed balls to be scrubbed out. There's Nico and Anya in the turnout. Tracy is going to ride Veeves first thing this morning. So she's got his tack out here and she's just gone to get him from the field. So it's, it's tea bag again. <laughs> and she's got Vibran, otherwise known as Bear, or Dweebran, or Sid the Sloth. Because he does have eyes like Sid the Sloth out of Ice Age. See, look, he needs Sid the Sloth. He, says he, needs, he needs a head wash. And he a always trim. needs a head wash. Yeah, I'm going to clip him actually. Yeah? Yeah, maybe not today, but no. I will clip him. Because he gets very itchy. Yes. At least it take, gets that summer coat out of the way and then you can go, grow a nice winter coat underneath, can't you? You <laughs> and Sydney. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Veebs is back. He has just been traumatised by road sign, I do believe. <laughs> he just needed to see a, a little bit of um, what goes on in the village because it's great, the village, for training. 
because there's always so much going on. So there's road works, there's always big vehicles. But the good thing is he, he's very good in traffic, but he's just not seen a lot down there. So it was a good indication of where I am with the training with him. But he listened, he listened to me. You know, he, he was genuinely afraid of a few things. So we stopped and looked at them for a while. But once he'd, he'd taken it all in, he went forward and he, you know he knows that even if it's something scary he needs to just go forward and he does he does listen well he's just not naturally a very brave horse so he just needs to do a little bit more of that and now he is steaming he is steaming so you can see there well you might not be able to see it on the video but he is steaming <laughs> he's not really sweaty he's just got quite a, you know thick coat and it's actually quite warm today yeah and then I am here with the tiny person. And jabbers or jabbers? Jubbers or jabbers, that is the question. And his big person friend, Hannes. And they are going to go and partake in some exercise together. Isn't that right, boys? Yes. Jabbers is exhausted after yesterday's games. Oh, yeah, he went for a ride out with Anya, a ride and lead. But he's going to be in stable stays tonight, so we need to make sure that he is suitably tired. Otherwise, he can be a little fresh in there. Okay, so Hannes is just walking off now at the end of the session. Just stretching down, which is the whole point of lunging them on the hoe, really. Just helping them stretch out. Good boy. And then Jabbers has applied minimal effort. You can see him just down here. And that is pretty much all. Again, Hennet. He has done that and stick his head through the fence and eat grass. So, yes. Uh, no. No. Hannes knows that I'm not concentrating now, so he is taking full advantage of that. And he says he's finished, which is fair enough, actually. Yes. If you just walk around a little bit more and the other rain and then we are, will be finito. Yes. Finito. So here's Iceman who has just, well I don't know what he's just done. I wasn't there actually so. <laughs> he's just been doing some work on the hoe. I've been riding him for the last few weeks, so I haven't actually lunged him for a little bit. So it's always good to see your progress on the ground. Watch the muscles that you have built. <laughs> it's just nice to see that he has some more flexion in his neck. So yeah, it's just nice to, to look at what they look like on the ground and then you can kind of translate that to when you're riding them. So, yeah, it's good. So he's been over a few poles and he's done some work on circles just getting him to flex around and use his hind legs so he's still quite weak on his right hind but he's getting there but they all have weaknesses somewhere don't they well yeah it's no different to us being left or right-handed every horse has natural asymmetry with a stronger and a weaker side mm -hmm. so yeah that's what Iceman is doing he also has a little swelling on his icicle <laughs> But it's definitely gone down from what it was and hopefully it. it will just <laughs> yeah it's an invasion of his privacy his manhood is now on youtube <laughs> but yeah hopefully it will continue to deflate <laughs> um so yeah and then over here we have micah who's going to be schooled next so we'll crack on with getting her ready. It's currently feeding time for the ones in the field. So Yodel has just finished and it's Xiaokia over there is licking out the bowl. And then Renska here, because Renska does more work 
um, and she's a slightly older lady, she's 17. She gets more feed than the rest of them, therefore it takes her longer to eat it. And because Yodel is the boss, as you can see here, Yodel will try to steal it. So I'm just stud with Ren at guarding her food, basically. So I'll just deter Yodel. Yodel, thank you. Ah, ah. You can see her there. Ah, ah, ah. Back! Back! Going for the kill, so I'm just defending it. This Ren's girl would be far too nice too. So yeah, she's circling the earth like a, she's circling Renska like a shark. You can see there. Ah, ah! Yodel, you've had. You've had. So yes, I'll just be stood here for a little while longer, helping Renska defend what is hers from you. Thank you. In here it's Avengers Assemble. <laughs> Avengers Assemble. Yeah, it's the No Boobs Big Dreams Club. <laughs> it is. So, we are doing some training for the training videos. Not the training for the content of the training videos, but the training of how to deliver and um, produce the content itself. Yeah. Display it. And engage everyone. Yeah. So that you find it interesting and informative, which we think we can do anyway. Yeah, exactly. And I'm actually going to be more conscious of videos now, of ranging the tones within my voice, because one of my friends told me the other day that sometimes <laughs> I can be a little bit monotone. So, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I discovered yesterday? I was telling JD, I use so a lot. I start a lot of my sentences with so, and I use the word lovely too much. Okay. And I say um too much. I say the F word too much, just not on <laughs> camera. <laughs> I'm steaming up now. Are you? Yeah, but apparently it's a sign of intelligence, so. Or to steam up or to use the F word? Both. <laughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for our last Swan Avenger, Swan Kira, yeah, to waltz in here with her hips that don't lie. <laughs> I need to delete some videos. Yeah. Okay, so we're still doing, well, we were doing training <laughs> things, but now we're not because we went off on another tangent, which I can't share with you. We spend a lot doing that. <laughs> yeah, That's we do. What we do is tangent, tangent, tangent. I like to think of it as creative brainstorming. Ah, uh, like new neurological pathways. Absolutely. Neuroplasticity people. Yes. I'm looking into that actually, rewire to speaking yeah. of things, rewiring my own brain because what happens is if you've like been depressive or anxious or whatever, what that does is that strengthens those areas of your brain. So your brain naturally automatically it's like a learnt behaviour pattern, so your brain finds it easier to be depressed and anxious because that's what it knows. So you have to strengthen the other pathways in your brain for like the neurons and stuff. I don't know how to do that yet, but um, I will begin the process. That's, where, that's how CBT works, cognitive yeah. behavioural therapy, is it's training your brain to always look at options on a situation. And it's, yeah, brilliant. Yeah. What were you filming, Holly? Um, I was going to film Jodie giving you an Instagram lesson. Okay. Yeah. That makes yeah. me feel really old. <laughs> Not that I really know what I'm doing either. Neither. That's why I thought I'd video it rather than give the lesson myself. <laughs> And then Tracy is cutting. Mm -hmm. I'm videoing Tracy editing a video. Oh. Oh. Also, if anyone would like a novelty <laughs> office tour, then let us know. <laughs> what? Well, a novelty office tour, like. I found this on my desk. Solvent cement. <laughs> it's really, really strong. What is I it? I don't know why it's on my desk, and I don't know what it's for. I need to Google. Yeah. But, yeah, it smell? Well, so now we're just going to get high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Pritt sticks in primary school. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. oh. Like trying to make Jodie high. Yeah. It's like nail varnish removal, isn't it? It is, well, isn't it? Strong. But really mm. strong. Yeah. Yeah. And then we wonder why we don't get any work done because <laughs> we end up sniffing <laughs> solvent <laughs> remover. Oh. <laughs> Also, I marked my bed on your map. <laughs> you 
Didn't. <laughs> yeah, Didn't. yeah, you can what find it. Uh, I don't know. Did you just... it on I don't know. Yeah, this. <laughs> I've marked down? my bed on the map. <laughs> Your bed. Yeah, yeah this just. A... You do know I give this to guests. <laughs> do you yeah. actually? Yeah. Polly's <laughs> bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tie in with what we were talking about when we first came. Yeah, no, maybe not. No, we're so unfocused. <laughs> have, have you found right. it? Tomorrow, no. I'm sending no. this to you now. <laughs> oh, it says that we're <laughs> unable to share. Right, Holly's bed. <laughs> yes. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wasn't going to tell you because I thought, well, it'll just make you smile on a when you're looking for it or curse me. But you know, it's there now. <laughs> My bed's there. <laughs> so obviously i'm not gonna zoom into where my bed is on the map because <laughs> just I don't come know. to me if you want to know <laughs> yeah if you'd like to know the location of my bed um, um, would you like me to mark your beds on there as well no no Thank okay you. are you sure <laughs> i'd assume that we sleep <laughs> yes nocturnal and i was just gonna say i have several beds but that doesn't sound right <laughs> no. <laughs> no it really doesn't this is three minutes 47 seconds now right i think we're should waffling we get, yeah, yeah should we get back to to doing some work we should you, know, you need to send me i'm that. trying to but my phone's out of out it's the end of the day here so i'm just giving Hida and Anya a little pamper and tidy up before they go to bed in the stables. The reason why Hida has his snuggie around his head like that is because he had a main wash the other day. Um, so we had that on and for the sake of time I just can't be bothered to take it off completely. So he's just stood there quite happily with it aloft around his ears. But you don't mind, do you floppy? No. And then Anya is here. Hello Annie! Hello! So I'll just leave those two out there for a minute. Tracy's just clipped Micah, hence the excessive amount of hair on the floor. We've got Nikki News in here who's already in bed. In that right, Noodles? Yeah. We've got Nelephant out here who's doing. I don't know what Nell's doing, but she's happy, so we'll just leave her to it. We've got Jody here who's just de droppinged the turnout and de Yeah. The gloves and the mm -hmm. They are. They match as well, both orange. Is he actually? Yeah. Well, I think that should be a new rule that you're only allowed to use the blower if you're wearing the gloves. Yeah. Yeah. That's very true. No excrement no. is allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here. We have little Micah, <laughs> who has just been clipped and she's now drying off in the friendship barn because after we clip them we always give them a wash just to remove any loose hairs or the clip oil that might irritate because in between clipping um, you pop clip oil on the blades as you go along just to keep them ticking over. Yes, it's tiring stood still while you have a full body skin fade, isn't it? Very. And I have to say I love, I love the forelock, I love the new hairstyle, I think. It really suits her. So she's got the solarium on in there. And if you'd like to pay a visit to our Frisian Friendship Barn, you can sit on the sofa through there, listen to some music. It'll be a vibe. I know you can vibe with Micah. Micah would love to vibe with you. Oh, Micah, Micah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to what I was doing and finish off giving these to a tidy up. And pop his snuggie back on after I flicked away the loose hair. Yeah. <laughs>